Hello, everyone. I've had a few people ask me uh, when they want to shop on Crafter, how to get set up, how to get started. So I just wanted to make a quick video to walk you through exactly where to go and how to do that. So let me share my screen with you all really quickly. Okay. So here we are on the Crafter homepage. There's a couple things that you can see right in the beginning. It shows how it works. Um, our showcase will show everyone's individual profile. So if there's a, a specific artist that you'd like to work with, you can click on them and get to know them better and, and see some examples of their work. So we'll grab Amber really quick just to show you that. So Amber, you see she's open for commissions. It has a little banner, profile picture, a little bit about her, any reviews you might want to see. To, um, she has great reviews and some examples of her artwork, okay? It even shows tags of what exactly she uh, uses to make her artwork. So she does digital and traditional art. Um, you also have an inspiration page if you click on that in the top, and that will show examples of things people have already made through the site. And if you're interested, you simply hover over what the picture is or the painting or whatever it is. You hover over it, it tells you who the artist is and you can view their profile from there as well. Now, if you are a brand new um, customer to Crafter, then go to buy or sign up. There's a button here at the top for that. Click on buy or sign up. It auto-populated my information in there. So it'll fill that out and then you register. Once you register in to Crafter, let me change it to be, I'm gonna log in here. It will give you your own profile. So you'll have my account. You can click on that. It'll be able to show you your address, your account settings. If you have any gift cards people have either given you or you've bought for yourself, they'll show up here. Um, you also have your very own profile. And the reason for this is it'll show off, you know, any kind of reviews you've had. Uh, we have both the creators and the customers be reviewed. And that way it protects people um, from, you know, any kind of customer that might be trolling them or giving them a hard time or difficult to work with. We want it to be a smooth communication between both. So then say you want to start and you say, okay, I'm interested in buying something. I'm ready to shop. What do I do? Where do I go? You go to your account and then right now it says create new brief. Now what I might do is change this to, you know, art request or, you know, I'm trying to think of something else or start a project. I haven't necessarily changed it yet, but if this changes, know that the button will be in the same spot and that won't change, but it'll say something along the lines of create a new brief. So you click on that. Once that loads, I'm actually going to submit a job with you this time uh, because I have someone that is a family friend that requested that I put this job in for her. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I think it's a good example because she has ideas and this is a lot of customers that we have. She has ideas, but she's not quite sure what she's looking for. Um, she had talked to another customer who had bought several of these bookmarks from Tina for her book club. So these are all hand-painted bookmarks. Tina did a fantastic job. Honestly, these uh, this picture doesn't do it justice because the detail in them are fantastic. Um, so she saw these and said, wow, I really want to buy some of my own. Great. That's fantastic. Let me move this out of the way here. So I'm going to go ahead and label this as, um, maybe a bookmark order. That'll be your title. Okay. I'm going to completely paste what she sent me because I, I want you to see that you don't have to have a completely clear picture on what is possible you can go ahead and submit what your ideas are and kind of go from there once you find uh, someone you'd like to work with. In this case, she found somebody she likes to work with, but you can also post something in a general forum, but I'll get to that in a moment. So in a bookmark order, she wrote me, she wanted, I'll, I'll clean this up a bit here so that I can 
uh, explain it to Tina a little bit better, but she wants um, like to order 10 bookmarks for our friend Dean or well. Uh, she is requesting animals and uh, flowers if possible. So she, now this is all her. So see how she wrote, maybe some young animals, kittens, doggy, hamsters, mice, bear, any kind of animals would be fine. So then she gets more specific and she goes, what about three birds and seven animals, right? May order more later, like a flower or a lily, just some suggestions. Uh, maybe I could add a bee, a butterfly, ask her what she'd want to paint. I'm sure she has some good suggestions, right? Okay, great. So I'll clean this up in a moment. You don't have to watch me do that. Now here is where there's a lot more detail. Some people want to give me a ton of detail with what they want because they know what they want. Other customers, they have an idea, but they go, I don't really know what they can make. I don't really know what's possible. If you know what you want, like for example, she knows she wants bookmarks. You can put a style or genre in here. Bookmark, I don't even know if I have animal. I have animal. You can put whatever makes sense for you. This is not critical. Then if you know a measurement, this is more for, you know, maybe if you want a certain size painting, say you want to put something in a frame you have, this might make more sense. I'm just going to let her do the standard size bookmark. So I'm going to leave that blank. I also don't remember what her budget is for uh, bookmarks. I can't remember how much that she charged on the last order. So even if I'm not sure about the budget, I can talk to Tina about that. So I'm gonna leave it blank. I know this is going to be a physical product that I hold in my hands. It's not gonna be digital. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. I definitely know that bookmarks are gonna stay inside. So it's not gonna be an outdoor product. So I'll leave that alone. Uh, materials are medium. Right now I'll just put paint. I'll just put paint. Cause I know she wants a, a wooden, let's see, wood. Let's just put paint and wood, why not? I'm not sure exactly when she wants this done, but I like to give artists a couple weeks to get something completed. So let's just say the 19th. Uh, colors vary on all of these, depending on the animal. So I can leave that blank as well. Now this is a big step on the bottom. So please don't skip this. You can publish the brief in a marketplace. And what that means is you could post a job and let any artist reach out to you and say, I can make that for you and give you a, a quote on how much they think it might cost them to make. Now, the more detail you give them, the more accurate that quote will be, but it's not set in stone. You can agree to a certain artist and then sort that out in the messaging system after. So don't feel like you are 100% committed until you actually pay them and agree to say, okay, yes, I like this. It's, it's okay to have a conversation first. Um, I know that Dean wants to work with Tina. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Tina here. There's a drop down of all the artists that we have. So I go ahead and click on Tina. And then of course you want to read the artwork agreement uh, because there's a lot of good information in there about, you know, we don't want people reselling work or anything like that. Um, once art is sold to you, it, you own it. So things like that. So you definitely want to go over the artwork agreement before you agree. So now I know I'm not gonna necessarily hit submit brief yet because I know I need to clean it up. But then, uh, so I can save this as a draft as well. And I might do that. Uh, but this is just to show you, and it has little descriptions on the side as well about what everything is and how to do it. But just in case, sometimes people want a more uh, direct way like this video to explain how things work and, and that sort of thing. Um, so I hope this video helped. And if you have any questions, of course, please reach out to me. And yeah, that, that's pretty much all there is to it. You submit this and uh, an artist will reach out to you and talk to you about it more once they get the message. They are emailed to let them know they have a job waiting. And if you post it in the general marketplace, then it's up to you to go check and see on your profile who's bidding on it and who you'd like to choose. So I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to working with you.